What is going on everybody, Zonic here, and in today's video, my goodness, it is a good morning. We have the new rankings for next season with all the move updates that we saw, all the moves added, buffed, and nerfed. PV Poke, Matt, the legend, has uh, dove in. Now, he had a live stream when he did all this, so I'll have a link to that down in the description if you want to go check that out. Highly informative over there. Um, but what we have is the new rankings. Now, what you guys will see is at the top, you can swap in between the current season and preview the next season. So let's just take a look back at what we have right now in the meta. The meta has been relatively stale, adding in a wrinkle here, a wrinkle there. But as you can see, Registeel, Carbink, Annihilate, I mean, the list goes on. This is the meta that we have been seeing. There's been a lot of strong Pokemon that kind of risen up as of late, uh, like Feraligator, for example, with that Shadow Claw edition. Annihilate relatively recently, right after the, uh, the introduction to the game. But overall, the meta has been kind of stale. And as you can, as we scroll through, you guys are recognizing these are all the kind of Pokemon that we face off against and use on a daily basis. Now, if we swap into the new meta, mind you, I'm going to use this graphic. It's from um, G, G47IX. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. Uh, I do apologize. They made this amazing graphic. Uh, these were all the move updates that happened. As you can see, there is a lot. We're going to reference this graphic. I'll have a link uh, to this post down in the description so you guys can check out this graphic as well. If you want to go uh, check that out, be sure to give them a follow as this graphic is, is just beautiful. Um, so we're going to reference this. There was a lot of updates, which, which is why when you hit preview next season, you can do this at home as well. Preview next season you will see that the rankings are now different. Claude Sire's number one, Carbink and Feraligator are still up there. Dunsparce, number five. Like, we're going to dive through, and this is pretty good. Now, Claude Sire coming up to number one. We know that bulky Pokemon are meta. Pokemon with high stat products, which is the overall stats that you guys can see right here. With high overall stat products, good typing, and a good move set is what makes something really meta and very strong and Claude Sire has been a part of it. It's been on the fringe, it has the bulk, it has that unique typing and it has the move set. Poison Sting and Mud Shot, pick your fast move, right? And then the charge moves, it's got great coverage depending on the situation that it needs it for. Stone Edge and Earthquake being the one and two moves that you definitely want to go for. It's very reminiscent of that Reggie Steel where you have coverage to Flyers, you have coverage to Tanks traditionally, right? Zap Cannon, Focus Blast, Stone Edge, Earthquake. Same, same, but different. Um, and then you also have stuff like Sludge Bomb if you need to use that for a specialty cup. You got stuff like Mega Horn as well, which is Legacy, though that is the Community Day move. Water Pulse. Now, you have some weaknesses here, Ground, Ice, Psychic, and Water, but because of its bulk, it can survive a lot of these hard-hitting charge moves, and there have been some nerfs, like Surf got a nerf, which means Lantern is going down in the rankings, which is why Cloth Sire is rising up. And another reason is the Poison Sting update. Let me see if I can find it right here. Uh, yes, it is on the right-hand side. It still has the same energy gain that it has, very high, but now it's going from 3 to 4 damage uh, for every fast move that it does, which is a really nice bump up for it. It deserves that number one spot or definitely a contender for top three because of its typing, moveset, and bulk. It's amazing. Carbink's still here. It's Carbink. Um, I don't know, even with the Rock Slide nerf, I just finished my Lickitung and my next project was to get going on my Carbink because these are the very bulky, very XL heavy Pokemon you want to have on your roster. And now with what they did to Body Slam and Lickitung, I'm kind of scared to invest in a Carbink. Uh, it's great, don't get me wrong, but... At just just from the resources that I have spent into Lickitung, I literally yesterday before the news came out, I literally powered it up um, for the final time. Now I'm second guessing and maybe you are too. I'm sure a lot of you are in the same boat. We are not immune to these uh, to these meta changes. Uh, so when it comes to XL Pokemon, I'm very hesitant about going all in. So I think for this time, I don't necessarily want to heavily invest in carbink just yet, but it's still two. 
Now, for Alligator, both Normal and Shadow, three and four. I mean, for Alligator is so much fun to use. If you guys uh, maybe are coming back, you saw the news update, you're kind of coming back, you're like, why is for Alligator there? It got access to Shadow Claw, everyone. So before its move, its charge moves are great, right? You have Hydro Cannon, Crunch, and Ice Beam. That coverage right there is phenomenal. Depending on the meta and what you need, right? The Ice Beam gives you the Dragon and Flyers. The Crunch gives you a lot of the Psychic and Ghosts. Hydro Cannon is just the go-to for it. But its fast moves before were bad, right? Bite, Ice Fang, Waterfall, and Water Gun. But getting access to Shadow Claw instantly made it meta. It is so much fun to use. Its only weakness is Electric and Grass, which isn't too common. I mean, Lantern was a big challenge. But with Shadow Claw and Crunch, you could push through some of those matchups depending on the shielding situation. Um, so, yeah, Shadow for Alligator and Normal for Alligator, both incredibly strong. Now, Dunsparce. This is a big one. And the reason why is the update to rollout right here rollout is a decently high gaining fast move in terms of energy that you can get but its power was increased from five to eight that is significant right poison sting only went up by one so three to four but a five to eight increase is nearly double almost it's getting close nearly double the damage that it did before while still having the same energy gain so this is going to, if we go ahead and go uh, at rollout, um, this is going to affect Dunsparce, Licky Licky, and Mill Tank. Those being the big three. And yes, you heard you heard that correctly. Not lick a tongue. Licky Licky, the evolved form, the much easier to get and power up. Um, we'll talk about that in a minute, but Rollout got a nice bump up, which is why we're seeing Dunsparce at number five, is because of its coverage. It is a, I would argue, a better version of Lickitung. It's got the normal typing, but it has the charge move coverage, the Drill Run and Rock Slide combination. Uh, also Dig, but di Drill Run's just better. Um, and it also has Astonish, which also got an update. Well, hopefully it... It, it makes waves. Astonish got a power increase, as you guys can see over here, from 9 to 12. Um, so Astonish has been, I think this is the third update that it's received, maybe the fourth. Uh, so hopefully it is now impactful. But you can run with Rollout or Astonish depending on what the meta is uh, going to be, right? Because that is, it's completely different coverages, both phenomenal, fast moves. Hopefully now Rollout definitely is, uh, but Astonish we'll have to see. And then you got the coverage there and your only weakness is fighting. Next is something that I think a lot of people have been excited for, praying for, hoping for one day is a new mud boy to the meta. Traditionally, right, we see Quagsire, Wizcash, and Swampert. Those are the big three mud boys that we've always seen. But Gastrodon has always been held back by its fast moves. As you guys can see, it's got great charge moves here and options, Body Slam, Earth Power and Water Pulse. Water Pulse also recently got an update in a previous season, so it's not as bad. It's it's not amazing, but it's still it's still pretty good. But its charge moves were horrible. Mud Slap and then a hidden power. And what happened was Mud Slap got an update right here. It got power increase from three to four, and its energy generation was decreased. So this is gonna be, or that's Mud Shot, sorry. Uh, Mud Slap, down here, there it is. Mud Slap, I was gonna say, it got, it got a double buff. Uh, 11 to 12 power increase and energy generation increase. Uh, Mud Shot got nerfed, so watch out for that. But Mud Slap got buffed, which is now directly impacting Gastrodon because what did I say before? It's all about those overall stat products. The Pokemon that have the most overall stats with good move sets and strong typings for the meta perform the best and gastrodon now is the new mud boy king of the mud boys right here better than quagsire and Wizcash and swampert in terms of simulation performance that is not going to account for all the craziness that can go on in your battles this is purely based off of simulation so gastrodon right there mandibuzz still strong machamp machamp now is the number one fighter like 
Thank goodness. How long have we been wanting Machamp to be number one and it's been overshadowed by the Metacham, the Annihilate, the Polyrath. Machamp is finally number one. And this is because of two reasons. Um, and that is going to be the nerf to counter. So energy generation was decreased. So every counter user across the board got nerfed. But we also saw a buff to Karate Chop. Energy generation increased. And Karate Chop is actually pretty decent. With the buff now, it's going to be kind of insane. So your Machamp is going to need a Legacy. Note that. Legacy Karate Chop. Because otherwise you only have counter and bullet punch. So you're going to have to elite fast TM to get Karate Chop. And now look at your move sets that you have. Close Combat, Cross Chop, Stone Edge, which is Legacy, Rock Slide, Payback, Heavy Slam, Dynamic Punch. You could even have Return in there. Um, it can be pretty wild. Now, from the moveset that's recommended here, it's going to be Cross Chop and Stone Edge. That makes a lot of sense. So we do have a double Legacy Machamp. And this is going to be one of those things where out the gate, I think it's going to be worth it. I think people are going to be taken by surprise. It's going to get to that Stone Edge so quickly that traditional flyers like a Mandibuzz is not going to be ready for it, uh, especially with the neutral damage that it can take from Karate Chop. So... This is going to be one of those really fun Pokemon to use. Be on the lookout for it in the Ultra League as well. That's going to be pretty big, especially um, with the option to have Payback. Because those Giratina Alters, those Giratina Origins, the Cresselias, right? A Payback Machamp. That's going to hurt. So, yeah, Machamp finally up there. Bastidon is there, but something to note is Smackdown got nerfed. It got a damage decrease of 12 to 11. Same with Razor Leaf. That's going to go from 10 to 9. So those fast moves are not going to be doing as much damage. But Bastion still strong. Again, because of its overall stat product and its dynamic polarizing matchups. Okay, next we have Clefable. This is going to be interesting. We see a, a shift in the moveset away from Meteor Mash, which is traditionally Meteor Mash and Moonblast, into Swift. And we also saw a buff to Fairy Wind. So let's take a look at that. Fairy Wind right here got a damage increase from 3 to 4. Uh, Fairy Wind, very strong, high energy gaining fast move, which when Clefable got access to it, it instantly became a part of the overall meta. It wasn't top meta, but it was very a very strong contender. And then we also saw a buff to Swift, where its energy cost is going to be decreased. So now Clefable here is going to be a neutral spammer with that Swift, along with Moonblast. Uh, so watch out for that. It's going to be a lot of fun to use. Um, and uh, hopefully, uh, obviously Bastion going to be great counter. Same with Claude Sire here. But at least you can do a lot of neutral damage in some of those tougher situations. Okay, next up, the next fighter. You, I mean, whole new season, guys. Whole new season. And, and girls. Whole new season. Pangoro. Number 11. Pangoro. Like, come on. Karate Chop, Close Combat, and Night Slash. Now, something to note before you guys get all crazy is... Let me make sure you guys can see this. Is these moves, right? So if I ever talk about anything of these moves, like Karate Chop on Pangoro, it's not available yet. So don't go trying to use a fast TM to try to get this fast move right now. It won't be available until the new season, which I believe is September 3rd, 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. So just fair warning there. Don't go try to TM away all this stuff because it's not in game yet, but we can continue to talk about it. Because with Karate Chop, high energy gaining, um, fast move now for fighters. You got Close Combat, Night Slash, Rock Slide, and Iron Head as your move set. Again, this is great coverage right here. Night Slash, I mean, it's beautiful, right? You have Close Combat for what do you need it for. There could be the argument that Night Slash and Rock Slide could be a great combination to pair with Karate Chop if you're going to utilize an ABB formation and have Pangoro as a safe swap, right? Um, you could also have Iron Head there for the fairies. There's a lot of good things that can be happening for this Pokemon because of its new moveset that it does have access to. So Pangoro, watch out for it as well in the Ultra League. Uh, next, we have Quagsire. You guys know that. 
uh, Shadow Quagsire with Aqua Tail. And this is the this is the next is the big one. Licky Licky. So Lick a Tongue. If we just go ahead and search Lick, Lick a Tongue. XL Lick a Tongue is no longer the top option from this family. It is now Licky Licky, which is both good and bad. It's it's good because all of you have the opportunity uh, to get a Licky Licky. It's so much easier. You don't need XL Candy. You just evolve it and power it up, right? Whereas Lick a Tongue, where the bad thing is if you're like me or recently you just invested in your XL Lick a Tongue and it's no longer meta because of Body Slam nerf. So if we go ahead and look, Body Slam has its damage decrease from 60 to 50, which is a pretty uh, decent drop there, which is why it's going down in the rankings. But Licky Licky, this Pokemon has so many good charge moves that you have to be prepared for. This is the boomer. And I've showcased this Pokemon in years past. If you guys have been following the channel, I've used this Pokemon where I literally safe swapped it and drew out a Metacham and then hit him with the Shadow Ball. It's just so good. So you have Body Slam, you have Shadow Ball, Earthquake, Solar Beam, and Hyper Beam. So what this is going to come down to is you're going to still want Body Slam. It is your bait. It is your neutral damage. But now you get to pick your boom, and that's going to be dependent on your team and the meta that you're facing off against. So if you're in a meta where it's heavily favoring maybe like Azumarill, right? You could have Solar Beam. Like you could have that. And then with the rollout update, rollout is going to give you some really nice coverage to those flyers. It's going to be a very versatile and flexible Pokemon. Um, in terms of its coverage, based on the moveset that you run, you only have one weakness, which is the fighting, and uh, or the yeah one weakness, which is the fighting, and uh, overall it's really good. And and even like the resistances, right? You're you don't normal doesn't do well against ghosts, but now you have Shadow Ball. So and you could also have Lick, but Rollout is going to be better. So that is exciting, even though Lickitung is is uh, down in the trenches, uh, Licky Licky is rising up. This coming up next. Marowak. Alolan Marowak we'll talk about here in a second because it's down a little ways. But Kanto. Kanto Marowak number 14. Since when? Mud Slap, Bone Club, and Rock Slide. This is going to be the moveset that you can see. And that's because of the buff to Mud Slap and the buff to, where'd it go? Bone Club. Damage increase from 40 to 55. That is a significant bump in damage, and that is going to directly affect the Marowaks, Alolan and Kanto. And as you can see, Kanto Marowak is now rising up, and this is going to be Shadow Kanto Marowak. And this is why I always, always preach, hoard your Pokemon. Every Pokemon is one update away from being meta. And Kanto Marowak is a prime example, along with Gastrodon and uh, Pangoro here. These are fringe Pokemon. I know a lot of us have Machamps, right? But how many of you kept Gastrodons, right? How many of you kept Pangoros from hatching them from seven kilometer eggs in an event a while back, right? Like, it, hoard them. Always, always hoard your Pokemon. Just increase your storage and keep catching, right? Uh, that's, that's what I do. I don't delete anything. Um, Marowak. I, I delete stuff, but I keep I keep a significant amount of Pokemon. Uh, Shadow Marowak, going to be number 14. Next, we have Toxapex. You guys know that. Jumpluff. Those of you who don't know, Jumpluff, flying uh, grass, much like Tropius. Uh, very strong. Very, very strong. Fairy Wind. You have a, a versatile move set. Fairy Wind is the fast move that you want. Excuse me. It got an update as well. Uh, which is going to be three to four power so same high energy gain but it's just doing more damage and then the charge moves that you have access to is pretty flexible you have aerial ace and energy ball which is the traditional go-to move set but you could also have acrobatics which is legacy but it hits like a truck it hits like a truck everyone this move is so much fun to use and you also have dazzling gleam if you want to put that in there maybe instead of energy ball based on the coverage of the meta that you're in uh, this Pokemon has a lot of weaknesses, uh, but it can hit incredibly hard, and it's pretty bulky as well in terms of its stats. Again, it's a it's a alternative to Tropius, which we'll talk about here soon because Tropius also got a buff. Uh, Shadow Drapion's there, Azumarill's there, Aurora's is there, Shadow Gallade is there. 
Maybe if you're coming back, you're wondering why Shadow Glade, um, it got access to Psycho Cut now. So it has Psycho Cut, Close Combat, and Leaf Blade. It's the spammiest thing and the scariest thing to face off against if you are behind on energy and shields. Um, Machamp, Quagsire, Registeel, Jumpluff, Regirock, uh, Machoke is now up here, another fighter similar to Machamp, just not as good. And that's because of the moveset, right? If we take a look and we compare directly Machamp versus Machoke, Machamp is up in the rankings higher because of its moveset. Mach um, uh, Machoke here only has fighting type charge moves and a return if you purify it, right? So there's no coverage. There's no payback. There's no rock slide. Um, there's no heavy slam. So uh, Marowak, Sand Slash. Uh, interestingly enough, uh, Metal Claw got a buff, which we'll have to take a look at um, deeper and maybe in another, like a focused video. It got its energy generation increased so that could come into play. I mean, um, <laughs> Alol or, uh, Alolan Sandslash here is becoming the Swiss Army Knife of fast moves, right? Powder Snow, Shadow Claw, and Metal Claw. Like, pick your coverage, right? Because you have the Drill Run, the Ice Punch, and the Aerial Ace. For those of you that don't know, it does have access to that charge move, so you got to watch out for that. Um, but yeah, very strong. Diggersby, Golurk is up here now with the Mud Slap buff and Shadow Punch buff. So, Golurk... Uh, Mud Slap, Shadow Punch, Dynamic Punch. You could also roll with Earth Power. Astonish is there. But we had Shadow Punch. Where is it? Right here. 40 to 55. So a nice bump up there for it. Um, and that is going to be good for the Golurk lovers. And finally, Alolan Marowak. Now, when I went to bed last night, the the this graphic or this um, listing, Alolan Marowak was actually number 9. And I was ecstatic right? Shadow Alolan Marowak is here. It is meta. I've always loved it. You guys have known how strong it can be, especially in the Azumarill Double Ghost formation with Sableye or maybe Skeledurge. It's incredibly power. It's an incredibly powerful Pokemon and it can, if you know what it's capable of, you can bring it to levels that aren't really there on the surface level. You guys, for the, for my Marowak, my goat, Users, you guys know how deadly this Pokemon can be. Now, what we have here is a very interesting mind game. Bone Club got a significant buff, right? It is now a very strong spammy coverage charge move. Shadow Bone is still going to be your go-to instead of Shadow Ball. This would, I would recommend if you don't, if you haven't Elite TM'd and you're going to build your Alone and Marowak for this season... I would highly recommend utilizing an Elite TM for Shadow Bone. It's just, it's a better Shadow Ball, right? Now, this is where the mind games comes in, and you guys better watch out. If everyone thinks Bone Club is meta, how many Fire Blasts could you land? If you're worried about Fire Blast landing, how many Bone Clubs are you going to shield? The I'm going to mind game you guys. I have more than one Alolan Marowak built. I will mind game you if you face off against me and go battle league with that. Just know you don't know what's coming. All right. Next, we have uh, Whizcash, Bastiodon, Quillfish, Greninja. We're kind of getting into the traditional stuff here. Uh, Mill tanks up here. Uh, Ursaring, surprisingly, up here. But that is that is kind of the meta that we see. It's a big shift. There's a lot of new Pokemon, right? If we go back to the previous season, we take a look, right? Annihilate, Registeel, Skarmory, Mantine, Bastion, Gligar, Lickitung, Azumarill, Man. Like, it's something we have been facing off against and, and using for so long. It is going to be refreshing to see a whole new take on the meta. There's still strong Pokemon up there that you've invested in, but now you get to try some new things. And I'm going to be building all of these Pokemon. I think I have the top 50 built. Um, I might be missing one or two, but I went through uh, yesterday and double-checked. I, I think I have almost all of these built besides Carbink. So I'm excited to try everything out for you guys. This is going to be a lot of fun. Again, if you guys want to see the live stream where Matt, the creator of PV Poke, uh, went through and talked about all of this in, in detail, really big depth um, about all the individual moves and stuff, 
you can I'll have the link down in the description you guys can go check that out if you guys want to get access to this graphic again I'll have a link it's from um, uh, G47IX uh, so I'll have a link to that post down in the description um, these are all the moves that got updated these are all the moves that are being added and let's just let's just put an RIP here for Ledian who fought for years to get counter and got it on the same day that counter got nerfed like RIP to uh, to Letty in there, but this is gonna be a fun season guys There's a lot of cool stuff happening a big meta shake up a lot of cool Pokemon rising up um, And uh, yeah, I'm excited and we also have switch timer reduced from 60 to 50 seconds. That's pretty big Oh, you guys can see that uh, 60 to 50 seconds. That's pretty big So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and like always thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one